Hey guys, um, so it's me, Derek G. Introduce myself a little bit. So recently, um, I had an issue with Subnautica through Steam on PC. It stopped acknowledging my Xbox One controller, which is a pain in the butt because I have bad hands and I need to use controllers. So what I did is I tried everything, by the way, and I yelled at the devs a little bit through their feedback. Um, by the way, devs, if you run across this, there needs to be more than 190 characters of space. How am I supposed to explain exactly what's going on in proper detail if I can only have about the same space as a Twitter post? Anyway, so, <laughs> getting back to the controller issue. So, I tried um, verifying local files. I tried... Uh, unpairing, uh, you know, making my computer forget the controllers and then repairing them. I tried deleting my save file. I tried starting a new game. This is all not in, in the order that I'm listing it. I tried rebooting my computer, which is actually the second thing I tried after verifying files. And uh, finally, I uninstalled and reinstalled the game, which is not that bad because, you know, the game's not that big. Um, you know, space-wise, so it only took maybe half hour, for 45 minutes for it to re-download and install. So, just a little bit annoying, but it's been days since I've been able to play the game. Okay, and and I've been and I was really far when I had to delete my my save file because what happened is I was playing the game and everything was going hunky dory. Uh, spoiler alert for this little uh, part. Uh, those Nautic has been out for a while, so um, I was trying to turn off the uh, the planetary quarantine cannon um, after the after the sunbeam had already been destroyed. Though this time, since I've been forced to start over again, I'm going to try to disable it before the sunbeam even reaches me or reaches out to me about uh, the aurora. Anyway, so. I am in the alien ruins, and I got up to the uh, control computer, you know, control room, trying to shut the cannon down. It tells me I'm infected, so I can't control the planetary cannon. Then, uh, my controller stopped working. I couldn't look up, down, left, right, didn't matter. I could not use my controller. It, it, it had somehow, the game had somehow made it so that even some other games couldn't even see the controller. I ended up having to uh, uh, reboot my computer for it to work. And, you know, annoying, but whatever, right? So, I found on the Steam forums, um, this is from last, no, two years ago, this is from 2018, and um, this fix worked for me. So if you, if you use a controller for your PC for whatever reason for me it's because I have bad hands um, like painful t t uh, ligaments and tendons uh, you're gonna want to go to your steam and then steam apps this is all folder steam folder steam apps folder common folder subnautica folder then go under SN app data and then under saved games and you're gonna go under options after that and you're gonna delete the options dot bin file. It will repopulate that file when you reopen the game. Okay? Once you've done that, you should have no freaking issue at all. At least that's what fixed it for me. And since it, this was such a hard thing to find, I had literally days I was looking for anything and everything. I went on the subreddit and post about it, and nobody mentioned it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my post on the subreddit as soon as I'm done filming this video for you guys and I'm going to let them know what fixed it for me so that people who had uh, liked my post um, and have had the issue themselves can also find um, this problem and fix it for themselves. It's very, very annoying. I was very short with the devs through their feedback about it. I think I posted... Because they only give you 190 characters, which I also kind of lectured them about. Um, I let them know through, I think, three, four, maybe five 
think including the original uh, feedback about the bug, let them know what was going on, what what it, where I was at, trying trying to let them know in detail what was going on and why this is important. And it would be nice to know that I could have put my uh, email in through, by using this little thing that it doesn't even anyway. So now they have my email after I don't know a couple more posts, and they might reach back out to me and tell me the solution maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I've really liked the game. It is a lot of fun. It is challenging without, you know, it's once I figured out, because I, uh, I I talk about this in my review, uh, I watched Z1 Gaming, and um, the very first time I tried the game, I found it very frustrating and confusing, uh, because they don't walk you through how to do most anything. Um, there's like, I don't think there's any... Uh, tutorial at all um but i watched the he was he's doing a new series and i watched that and it helped me out and once i got to that point once i you know he walked me through up to a certain point because i only watched the i'm going to continue watching the series but i before i started playing the game myself again i only watched like the first two episodes that he he's put out and um it just basically gave me the basics of what i needed to start out so yeah i'm going to put the link the, the instructions that this guy put down and the link um, to the uh, Steam community forum post in the description below so that if you need to have a visual thing walking through because I did is I did at first too you'll have this and it should be a big big help anyway I hope you guys found this informative and helpful and I will talk at you later.